What's going on, y'all? So What's going on, y'all? So we are back again for another episode review of the Haves and the Have Not Season Eight, Episode Fourteen: The Pink Yun uh Pink Unicorns. Baby, um, I don't know. Okay, so can I be one hundred percent honest? All right, I'm gonna be. I'm no shade, no hate, no whatever. Y'all know I love this show, but for the last few episodes, it hasn't really been giving me much. For this to be the ending season, you know what I'm saying, in the last few episodes of the season, it's not really giving me much, but it's giving me enough. It's giving me enough to, you know, have my moments, but I expect like boom, boom, bam in the last few episodes. Now, from what I was told last week, we had four episodes left from somebody who told me on Twitter. Now, if that's true, take away today, we got three more episodes left. So, I want nothing but bam, bing, bada, bada. Boom, happening in these next three episodes up until, you know, till the shit goes out. But uh, anyway, this episode starts off where it left off last week with Veronica and Pala. Girl, or I should say Celine. Um, Jim up there trying to say Celine killed uh, Amanda. Well, you know, they're not really sure if it was truly a, a suicide, which we already know. Okay. And I don't like the fact that they brought Amanda's back, you know, brought up her, um, what is it? Brought up her death or whatever. I'm sorry, I just got distracted. Brought up her death and they not really going to try to figure it out, okay? Because they mentioned it like earlier in the, in the season or probably last season or whatever that she did not kill herself. Um, we don't know who did it at this point. Now you're going to bring it up this time with Celine trying to make it seem like Celine did it. When in fact, what Veronica figured out what was going to happen was Jim was just basically trying to frame Celine. If she don't take this uh, nonsense about this goddamn child support and giving her the $50,000 within the next 24 hours, you know, um, get away from me. Okay. You know, at this point, I don't know why Jim... I don't know what it is about Jim, okay, when it comes to Veronica. And I understand he's trying to get Veronica out. But I do not feel like Veronica is going to get out. If Ver Veronica get taken out, it's going to be by something so minute, okay, so small that she fucked up and did. You know what I'm saying? That's what I feel like. Because mama has been like 10, 15 steps ahead of every goddamn body. You know what I'm saying? So, Jim thinking that... <laughs> He going to take her out with this little assassin or whatever. Meanwhile, Veronica already know that you got an assassin on her. Okay, so it's just like, why do you keep trying to step up to this lady? This lady is not the one to be played with. And she has shown that to you time and time again. Okay, and this whole trying to frame Celine and trying to threaten uh, Veronica, calling her a bitch to her face and all this stuff. It is not. Girl, when he said that, she said, okay, yes. I was like, you know what? <laughs> This was making me like Veronica, and then when she do that homophobic shit, it just makes me so mad. But baby, she had me down. I I'll wait till we get there. But anyway, so all of that happened, and you know, Veronica said, "Bitch, I'm not going nowhere. We're not dropping nothing, and it is what it is." Okay, so you're gonna get served. Here goes the fucking papers. Have a fucking good day. Okay. Meanwhile, moving on from that, um. Bitch, since we on Veronica, let me just finish her, okay? Veronica, <laughs> it's one thing to be homophobic in front of these straight folks or whatever, you know what I'm saying, who shares your same view, okay? And do it in front of your goddamn family, you know, just being ignorant as shit. But it is another thing to go into a gay establishment, okay, and talk to a gay person and degrade them in their place of business, okay? I'm just sitting here like, I know this lady did not just do this. I said, bitch, you would have gotten that. Let me just say this. I feel like if this was to have happened, Veronica would have got her ass jumped in that establishment. You know, and just because it did look like it was a lot of gay men up in there, trust and believe it'd be a little sprinkling here or there or lesbians, okay? It'd be a little sprinkling here or there, lesbians or whatever. And they would have fucked her ass up. Especially the way the drag queen announced that, um, you know, we got a homophobic bitch up in this motherfucker, you know? They would have fucked her up, okay? I hope they would have. Because, bitch, you ain't getting out of there without a scratch on your ass. <laughs> 
<laughs> not like that. You gonna come into our place of goddamn safety to have fucking fun to be fucking homophobic. Girl, not at the end of Pride Month. Let me tell you something. Y'all been cutting up. Y'all been goddamn cutting up, okay? And then Rihanna. Rihanna, let me talk to you for a second. Miss Robin Fenty, okay? Um... <clears throat> Pride is over with. Granted, pride is every, you know what I'm saying, every day for all of us that are in this community and it should be for everybody, to be quite honest. But at the same time, when it comes to these commercialized businesses and all this shit, watch right after tomorrow, all the logos on the TV channels, whatever, they're going to turn away from that goddamn pride flag and they're going to turn right back to the color that they really was. Okay, come July 1st. But Miss Rihanna Fenty, okay, bitch, you put your pride collection, unless it was me and I did not know that, but you just now putting out promo for pride collections and shit like that for Savage Fenty, bitch. Pride is over. We only got one more day for the commercialized version of it. <laughs> Girl, what are you doing? Better late than never, bitch. That's how it is with this goddamn music. But anyway, I just had to say that about Miss Robin. But um, anyway, I still love her. Um, Veronica bring her ass up into this goddamn gay club. And it is a drag queen that is at the door. Okay? She looking like, uh... This uh, this is just disgusting and bitch you this and bitch you that. Girl, when she told Miss Mamas that um, you should never wear open toe sandals or open toe shoes because your feet too goddamn big for it, I said, God damn, like you really just gonna do this, okay? You know, and she was like, <laughs> I'm looking for somebody. She said the drag queen was like, bitch, ain't no fish up in here. Ain't nobody looking for no fish up in here. We all gave me up in this bitch, okay? And she was like, fish? It was like a real girl. Now, let me ask y'all this because I seen this discussion once before. And I don't, it was topsy-turvy, okay? Like, it was 50-50. For my straight women, do y'all get offended when gay men call y'all fish? Because I take it as, and a lot of gay men, correct me if I'm wrong, when we say fish, when, when well, I should say when the gay community say fish, because some lesbians say it too, because I know I said it some, once before, uh, a few times before too, you know, it's referring to real women. I don't think or feel that it's a sign of disrespect. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like it's just, you know, to identify real women or whatever. You know, it's just a... Slur, uh, not a slur, but a term. You know what I'm saying? A gay term. That's what it is. But do y'all feel offended by it? And if so, explain why. Because I don't, I don't see the offense. But anyway, anyway, um, because when we be like, you looking fishy, bitch, you giving realness. That's what it is. You giving real woman tease. That's what this is. Okay. Anyway, enough of the lesson. Anyway, so Veronica going back and forth with this lady. I said, why are you doing this? Just being her evil, nasty self. Oh, I need a drink. But I don't want to drink off of nothing like this, okay? I don't know what's been up in here and what, what it's been at and all this shit. I said, Veronica, calm your ass down, bitch. <laughs> you don't come up in somebody's establishment and just be all nasty to them. I want to talk to the owner. Well, the owner ain't here right about now, okay? So she just started coming at the lady, you know, and then when she moves away into the crowd and she just being disgusted, she was like, oh, in this disgusting ass place, but these disgusting ass people i will say they can dance though as much as i'd be disgusted by their ass at least they can really dance i give them that i said uh-uh see no 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 either you hate us all the way don't love what we do okay bitch don't love what we do hate us all the way bitch if that's what you're gonna do don't point out well you can do this i still can't stand your ass but i'll give you props no don't do that to me okay fuck that veronica Stand firm in your shit. Because then she go up to this man and it was this look and this interaction that they had. And he was like, Veronica, you know, like shocked to see her. And as I'm reading the body language, now I know where this actor, he he's an actor that you don't know his name, but you've seen him a lot in a lot of black stuff, especially, especially. But um <laughs> I was like, hey, I ain't seen you in a minute. What's good? You know? And so Veronica just looking like, hey. He was like, Ver Veronica, what are you doing here? She was like, it's cool. It's cool. Calm down. And I was like, I mean, it's time. He was like, it's time for what? You know, um, it's time. It's time for what? I need a drink. I was like, you want me to get you something to drink? Bitch, I don't want to drink out of no glass. Give me something to drink in a plastic cup. You know what? Better yet, mind you, stop the waiter and call him a thing, okay? Tell this thing to give me uh something in a plastic cup. Better yet, just give me a brand new bottle because I don't know where the fuck y'all shit been at. I said, oh, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, the oh. <laughs> 
I said, Veronica, somebody need to whoop your ass. Okay, you, oh, God damn, it's like punch the bitch in the goddamn face, okay? Because at this point, she is doing way too much. And I'm, it's his establishment, you know, and apparently they had a pass, okay? And I am, hmm, 95% sure that this has got to be the man that is allegedly Jeffrey's father. I say that. Because he said, you know, I'm I'm sorry for not telling you that I was gay, okay? I should have told you back then or whatever. She was like, that's that's whatever, girl, whatever. You know, that's basically what she said, you know. And it was that it's time. It's time for what? You know, she had a calm demeanor with him, demeanor with him. Um, and, you know, even though she was being rude with him, she wasn't being so, you know, veronica eat. You know what I'm saying? Just very, very nasty. She had a calm tone to her. Like, she had some type of respect or some type of real feelings for him or something like that. That's the vibe that she was giving out, bitch. And I was just sitting here like, it's time for what? She would not say what it's time for. All of a sudden, she looking at the drag queens and the other gay men on the floor. Talk about saying, oh, bitch, they can dance, though. You know, now I want to dance. So she get the bottle of alcohol, drink her a little bit of something. Next thing you know, she get on the floor and she start dancing. For a bitch that don't fuck with gays and don't think that they uh, worth shit or whatever, like she told old girl, uh, you ain't got nothing to be proud for, okay? Because she was like, it's proud up in here all day, all day, every day, okay? She was like, you ain't got nothing to be proud for, uh, proud for of. I said, God damn, Veronica, you just so mean. You up there voguing with them, bitch. I said, how you know the dance? Don't tell me it's because you looked at a Madonna video. No, sis. Okay, you duck walking. You voguing. You giving us hand performance and everything. I said you was looking at Legendary. Girl, stop playing, Veronica. You know what the culture is, okay? Because you all up in the culture. Because, baby, I think you're secretly fish adjacent. Okay, I girl, something ain't right with your mama. Now, I used to think that Veronica had a little lesbian lover back in the day. Okay, and she broke her heart. She broke her heart. It was the first time that she fell in love with a girl and it broke her heart. You know what I'm saying? That's what made her turn cold to gays. Now I'm looking at this man and he a gay man and she probably was in love with this man and that probably is her a real baby daddy because you know she said that Jeffrey wasn't her, uh, uh, David wasn't Jeffrey's real father. You know what I'm saying? We don't know if that's true or not, but that's what it feel like in this situation. And he broke her heart by coming out as gay. You know, she found out that he was gay, and that's why she hate gay people. And she don't want Jeffrey to be gay like her, like his father. Anyway, I said, you know what? Now we got to wait till either next week or the week after that to goddamn figure out what the secret is, what it's time for, what it's time for. Meanwhile, speaking of goddamn assassins, what type of fucking assassins are these, okay? I said, what is going on? Now, these ain't no real top-notch, you know, mercenary assassins and shit like that. Because, baby, they up there driving to a goddamn garage. You know, I'm, I was rooting for Veronica assassin for real, though. Okay, just because I did not like Jim. Okay, I did not want Jim to be the one to take Veronica out, to be quite honest. You know, so I was rooting for um Veronica assassin. I was like, go ahead, take his ass out. And then next thing you know, he pulled a gun out at him. You know, they got their guns on him and all this shit. Next thing you know, they start fighting. Okay, he tries to take the gun out of his hand. They start fighting. Boo, boo, boo. I said, your big ass better not let this little boy uh, uh over power you and they was just beating each other ass equally okay and it was going on a little bit too long for me okay it was going on a little bit too long for me and they both were standing up like ain't nobody touched nobody but they was bloody i said look at this white on white violence okay oh my god this is white on white crime going on here y'all need to stop that and then and then jim assassin you had enough you had enough just let me go just let me go where you from okay he was like the marines oh i'm the marines too and then it was like french navy uh, the Netherlands na Navy. Oh, good sports. I said, what is all this conversation? We assassins. We got a fucking job to do, bitch. Fuck the chit chat. Somebody shoot somebody. <laughs> That's what we supposed to be doing. Somebody take somebody out. Okay. They was talking a little bit too much. I said, y'all ain't real and y'all ain't about that life. Next thing you know, we'd have found out that Veronica paying her assassin $15,000 to take him out. Uh, Jim paying his assassin $30,000 to take, uh, uh, Veronica out. And I'm like, 
Okay, and why don't y'all just go ahead and pick up the guns? Mind you, the guns was right there on the floor behind Jim's assassin. And I didn't realize that until he picked them up at the end when they both left. Bitch, let me tell you how irritated I was. At this point, I didn't kick your ass. I have a job to do when I am supposed to be an assassin. I'm going to make a goddamn deal with you that you let me go. You still get your money. And you tell her that I killed you. That you killed me or whatever. I kill her. And I get the money too. And we all to the good. I said, bitch, I'm waiting for Veronica Assassin to agree to this dumb shit. And to shake his hand. And then to pull him and to pop his neck or something like that. Like, fuck him up and kill him. He was like, nah, we ain't finna do that. Okay, I was like, Jim Assassin was smart. Nah, I ain't finna shake no hands. But he was like, word is bomb. Word is bomb, my nigga. And I was like, oh, okay, this is what we doing. He was like, come on, let's go get in the car. I said, what? They really got in the car, okay? So at this point, Veronica Assassin go get in the car. And then Jim Assassin, he goes and get both of the guns that was on the floor. So you mean to tell me y'all was fighting this whole time and the guns was right there on the floor and ain't nobody bothered to try to get the gun and pop a nigga right in and there? I said, what the fuck is going on here? I know this. I, girl, I just be having questions sometimes, okay? I... Y'all know me. Y'all know me. He picked that bitch up, put his in his pocket, and then reached into the car and passed the gun to uh, Veronica's assassin. I said, what? <laughs> the whole time I'm thinking he gonna pop him in the car. I'm thinking he reaching over to pop his ass. I'm thinking he literally gonna go to the car and go pop. You know what I'm saying? No, he literally gave him the gun back and they roll off into the sunset. I said, What? type of assassin is this y'all got these bitches off of craigslist okay this is a groupon type of shit i said what is going on meanwhile we get to benny okay and uh well let me just get to benny right quick rihanna called benny okay to tell him that you the, the seller he closed on the house or whatever you can come in and move in tomorrow i'll give you the key and all that shit and i just want to tell you that i'm sorry you know that you got to get into all of that stuff and i never had no my uh nobody protect me the way that you did and you know thank you for doing that and you know um uh, i tried i had to move away from him like four times just to get away from him and he always seems to find me woo 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 mind you she drinking wine she's spilling her guts and everything to benny benny just being that listening is so he can get some that's all that it is okay Okay, truth be told, Benny probably do like her after this, especially because, you know, she a damsel in distress at this moment and niggas love a damsel in distress. Okay, and I was like, mm -mm, what's going on? She was like, you know what, but I'm going to just, you know, it's just been like, I don't even know why I'm telling you all of this. You know, I've been drinking. He was like, uh-uh, you over there drinking by yourself? You will need to be drinking by yourself. And uh, I'm going to come over there. She was like, no. He was like, I'm going to come over there. I said, bitch, I don't know what it was about when he said that shit because y'all already know how I feel about the way these men be treating the women on the show. You know, they just be doing too fucking much, forcing their hands and shit. But when he said, no, I'm going to come over there, I said, oh, Benny turned from Benny to Diamond from P-Valley. And I said, okay. <laughs> she was like, no, because... I've been drinking and I'm lonely and stuff like that. He said, like I said, you're going to text me the address and I'm going to come over there. I was like, text him the address, girl. <laughs> text him the address, girl. <laughs> it's bound to happen, bitch. You already knew as soon as you asked, cause as soon as you called him, you knew what was up, bitch. That's what it was. She was initiating the conversation, bitch, for him to come on over there, okay? I said, ooh. <laughs> That fight got you hot and bothered, bitch. Hot and bothered. Girl. Uh, anyway, so, um, yeah. He said, let me clean up. And on the preview, I said, I thought you was going to goddamn clean up. Because on next week's episode, you still went over there in that bloody-ass shirt. I said, oh, nasty. You just couldn't wait. Meanwhile, Candace get a, a visit from goddamn Senator Westlake. I said, you know what? Candace, you dumb as fuck for letting this dude up in the house, okay? That's just just that because, I mean, in the um, room. He up there trying to give this little side story about how he the uh, uh, he been doing his research on Candace and Charles really needs somebody like him, uh, her in his corner. You know, she's like a pit bull. He's a baby pit bull. You really somebody that's going to be by his side and put things in order. And, you know, his wife didn't just die from natural causes. She committed suicide. The kids found her. Truth be told, I was sitting here looking at it like this. Bitch, I don't care. 
I didn't ask you to come over here. That don't make up for the fact that he publicly, goddamn bitch, he humiliated the shit out of me. Okay? If you love somebody, this is not what you do. Baby, if you love someone, you don't just let them go. That's what Darnell Jones told us, okay? And you got to heed those instructions. Some of these songs be telling us some real shit, and you just got to heed them, okay? And then he was telling us some real shit. You love someone, you don't just let them go, okay? You do whatever it is that you have to do, bitch, and you suffer whatever consequence you got to. Now, if he really loved Candace, he wouldn't have let that shit happen. Fuck all that shit. I said, Candace, get this man up out this goddamn room, okay? Um... Oh, Alvin was on something else I seen recently. He was in that movie for tail. For tail, uh, Femme Fatal. Fatal. That's what it was. With Hillary Swank and um Michael B. Jordan. He was playing a lawyer too. Uh anyway, moving on from that. Uh, see blessings in disguise. That lady at that grocery store tried to shame the fuck out of Alvin uh, by putting it out there that he was working in that grocery store. And look at what it happened. Look what happened. All these opportunities and put him back in the game. She looks shitty as fuck and now he on the rise again. I know that's fucking right. Girl, karma works good sometimes. Bitch, moving on from that. Hannah went over there to goddamn Broderick, uh to the loft. Brodred up in there with two bitches, okay? Gonna say, who the hell are you? She said, bitch, uh, Catherine is my goddamn boss, and you need to get these hoes up out of here, and you need to get the fuck up out of here. He got a little scared for a second, okay? Because Kath, uh, uh, Hannah said, I'm gonna tell Catherine. Oh, don't tell her. You don't have to tell her. You don't have to tell her. She said, yes, the fuck I am. Let me tell you something. Hannah is one down-ass bitch, okay? She's a trill-ass, real-ass. When you look up the definition of goddamn loyalty to friends... In the goddamn dictionary, Miss Hannah face is all up in that bitch, okay? Because mama said, I'm going to tell goddamn Catherine what's fucking going on. I ain't going to take her money either. I'm still going to that because that's my goddamn friend. Bitch, I ain't even going to fucking lie. I would have thought about siphoning some of that money out and putting it into my account. Put God, I would have made a whole new account if I was really thinking about it, okay? Because technically speaking, Hannah can't do that. But, you know, Hannah a real one. She loyal as fuck. She ain't finna do that. She ain't finna fuck up people over, okay? She ta uh, uh, Catherine had called her too and was like, what's good? Did you go over there to the loft? Yeah, I went over there. Who was this boy to you? I mean, we just had some fun. You know, he make me feel good. I make him feel good or whatever. But, bitch, let me just tell you something. He had two bitches over there in the bed. Okay, she was like, oh, shit, bitch. I knew he wasn't really feeling me like that. But damn, what I know, everybody likes to be cuddled and held and stuff like that. I was like, that's cute or whatever. But, you know, you can't just let any random cute face just do that shit for you. And then you paying their way for everything, you know. So she was like, put him on a goddamn three-way call. First of all, I'm listening to the conversation. And the whole time, I'm timing it, right? Something said, Ashley, they've been on the goddamn phone for a long time. Now, how long is a prison phone call? Because I be looking at love after lockup. They don't be on the phone call that long, okay? I was like, this is a long-ass phone conversation. Where is the, you have one minute left? That's why I was waiting on, to interrupt. Because Hannah and Catherine had a decent amount of time to have before last conversation then they brought broderick on the phone his ass was lying trying to say it was his cousin that was in the room or whatever and she was sleeping on the couch how you know about this or whatever because a lying ass friend said it okay and i told her about the i said i know that's right hannah hannah came through like bitch what you not gonna do is fucking try to lie on me bitch okay because you the one that was laying up in there you went up here playing her and all this stuff Catherine said get your shit get the fuck out or i'm gonna get the sheriff to get your ass out he was was like oh man mind you why it is right there why it say man get up off the phone is that why it i said oh my goodness so now Catherine wants to know about that want hannah to go over there and check on all this shit i said hannah you better than me because it's late at night i'm finna go to goddamn bed <laughs> hannah was chilling on the goddamn couch and you talk about something go over there to the house and go see what's going on first of all that is your son second of all i will call the police and tell them to go over there okay because i'm not gonna get hurt by a crackhead that's basically it i would have did it from the comforts of my goddamn home okay anyway this crackhead sitting there goddamn sniffing uppers and downers okay and drinking alcohol broger trying to tell him you need to chill the fuck out okay you know go give me some more drugs i said what <laughs> 
He had Broderick going, doing drug runs, and Broderick don't have no more money for the drugs. He was like, well, I know where you can go get some money from. And he was like, where? We can go to my parents' house, and, you know, they got jury and stuff like that. We can pawn it. So I said, Wyatt, you did that the last time, and look what fucking happened. You ended up in goddamn jail, bitch. I said, you just don't fucking learn. He told his ass to get the fuck out, because Broderick wasn't down for it. I said, boy, why don't he have a goddamn overdose and let that be it? Please, like, by the end of this show, why you gotta go? Why you didn't get pressed and, like, what life is he on? This is at least number five, okay? Damn, that means he got at least FOMO. Fuck. But anyway, I'm saying he like a goddamn black cat. It just keeps coming back and coming back and coming back. Shit. Anyway, it's like, can't nothing take his ass out. Fuck, he like the white Veronica. Ain't nothing taking this bitch out. <laughs> Girl, it, uh, at the end of the episode, girl, Vinny didn't confront it, Mitch. Let him know. He the new Mama Rose. Mama Rose had to let him know that Vinny taking over or whatever. Vinny pissed off about what Mitch did and, you know, saying that, um, you know, putting the family name out there, lying on them and all this shit with the Candace situation or whatever. And so it was like, you know, basically the protection on Candace and Vinny is taken away now that Vinny is... Um, the new Mama Rose and the new head in charge or whatever. And so, as punishment, he got to get his ass beat. And so, that's basically what they did. They fucked him up a little bit. You know, he told him, don't hit my face or whatever. But other than that, his ribs and shit going to be sore for a minute. That's it. And then, Sandy little bitch ass coming there complaining about, Vinny the one that did this to me. And I wanted to kill him. Vinny said, nigga, why you didn't? Now, my TV cut out for a second, so I don't hear what that little slur, what he was, when he was like, I'm tired of you, we don't do that no more, okay? This is what you been doing. But then Vinny was like, you know, if you're going to kill his ass, I want you to go kill him right now. Go do it. And gave him a gun. Did you see the way Sandy was looking shook? Sandy is a coward. This is the same thing that he did when Vinny told him to go kill Wyatt, okay? But he couldn't pull the trigger. And now you talk about something, you all big in your chest, talking about something, you want to go kill Benny. But, bitch, when it's time to kill Benny, you looking like, oh, shit, he really want me to do it. He ain't going to kill Benny. He going to punk out or Benny going to fuck his ass up. But, anyway, Benny over there uh, fucking his bitch. Um, anyway, <laughs> that was the ass and a half nice, y'all. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about it. I will see you guys later. Peace.